this is a soldering, and this soldering is a, is a heat transfer issue. The heat transfer takes place from the tip to whatever you want to heat. The solder helps the heat transfer because it increases the area of where the heat is being transferred. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tin this wire right here, which means I'm going to put a little bit of solder in the wire. This is stranded wire and it comes apart. If we put, put the, the iron and the solder and the wire all together at the same time, it will absorb the solder. So you can see that's soldered right there. Now it won't become frayed. Your tip clean, you clean it with this, this device right here. Little cleaning pad. Sponges are okay, but sponges cool the iron off. You always want to keep that shiny. If, if oxide forms on there, it gets black and causes a, a bad solder heat transfer. You see smoke rise off of this solder, and what that is is an is a, is a oxidizing cleaner. And it helps clean the surfaces, but if the surface is real dirty, it, it can't clean it. There just isn't enough there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tin these surfaces. We're going to apply solder to these surfaces like this. Touch all three of them together at the same time. Now you see how you get a nice little mound of, of solder there? Same way here. Go there, we'll put it there, and we'll put it there. Now you've got solder there. You have solder on the wires also. So what we do is we connect a jumper to there, get it on there, and then we bend it around. We, we solder it to the terminal block first, so that way we're not putting any stresses on the, on the strain gauge. And then we bend it over there exactly the position we want it in, and then all we have to do is touch it. And it's soldered with a minimal amount of solder and a minimal amount of heat. Well, we're going to attach the, the instrumentation connection wire to the can with some tape before we ever solder it. That way you have it strain relieved before you solder, which is really good because then you don't have to worry so much about having the wire pull the gauge off. So we got it there. We got our wires in, in very close to the position we want to solder them. And with the same process, we get a little, a little solder on the end of the iron. a little bit and then we so and we we have one remaining wire here to solder we'll put a we'll put a little solder on the that wires this wire is kind of long this is a perfect example of you probably need that to be a little shorter right there and we'll position it so it's as close without any stress and we'll clean it and put some more solder on it a little bit not a lot and touch it down there and it's soldered.